So you've decided to jump into Star Citizen finally, or maybe you're returning for a refresher. I have a new player's guide to help you get the basics out of the way, but these 20 tips are going to make your life a lot easier as a newbie or as a veteran. Thank you for coming to my tomato talk. One of the first applicable tips I can give you that will immediately make your life easier is tapping the F key to interact with objects. Instead of fumbling with selecting a word, you can tap the interaction button to select the first available action. This one comes from the community. I'll link the post below if you'd like to see all the tips we collected for this video on YouTube and on Twitter. But don't fly straight at your targets, especially at night. Due to the differences in scale and momentum some of the ships carry, it can be hard to judge when you should start slowing down. If you aim slightly off target, you can always overshoot and come back. Otherwise, you'll explode. Nobody likes to explode. When first starting the game, it might be best to avoid buying any equipment. While you can gear up using loot after you got that starting pistol dropping nine tails gangsters, you also might find yourself falling victim to the previous tip. That is to say, exploded. There are plenty of chances to die in this game your first several times playing, or your first hundred. Since you lose your inventory and have to retrieve it whenever you die, save yourself the effort during your first couple non-combative missions to save some money and rage. In fact, bonus tip, do your equipment finding on the various missions you take. Learn the look of the loot boxes and look everywhere for them. You can avoid spending much of your first 100k on small items this way. You'll notice that a lot of these tips have to do with death and avoiding its effects. We have to do that a lot in this game. But in lore, humans have discovered a way to imprint our consciousness into what is essentially a mental or physical clone of ourselves. It gets really deep and it's actually pretty fun to learn about, so I'll post a walkthrough about death in the Star Citizen universe down below. But it's also important to know to understand how our respawns work. Thanks to the community for this one. Every space station and tier 1 bed you visit has a monitor that allows you to get medical treatment as well as save your respawn point. For ships, this is only true as long as the ship is spawned in, but for cities and space stations, this will remain until you change it. So as soon as you enter the game, leave the atmosphere and set your spawn in a space station so you can avoid having to do that over and over. Instead of looking for the option of exiting a chair when you find your butt planted with no escape, press and hold the Y key to get right up and walk away. Seriously useful because the interaction system can get uh, tiresome. It's very hard to see in the dark in this game, like it gives space a good name considering all the darkness it looks like. But even planets at night can be difficult to navigate. The altimeter at the time of this video is still linked to the sea level reading, so you can't trust it to tell you when you're going to hit the ground. Hit the tab key to send out a scanning ping and see a wireframe of the area around you. The hope is that someday this will be a short range area of effect we can use for navigating and landing but for now it is meant to detect other objects. You can spam the button to keep an eye on the ground when you can't see, but be careful because this ping sends out high emissions that will light you up on other people's radar. Game chat tends to have a reputation of being kinda toxic, but the chat in Star Citizen is surprisingly calm and collected most of the time. It is also usually quite helpful, some may want in on it, and some may want off. Either way, F12 is your button, and if you want the full screen interface, F11 will take you there. But you should always feel free to ask a question in chat. Those who need it most will be in a party, and otherwise it should just be disabled for folks. Reach out to the community members who are sitting there and who enjoy the experience of getting to help you, so that you can get past the insane amounts of challenges that Star Citizen will throw at you every day. Once you quantum jump to a new world, you might be trying to find the primary city. 
In the future, I really do hope they are better at showing us where to land, because if you don't already know where in this game, it can be tough. Make sure to look for the lights, or lack thereof in our corpse case, and fly in that direction. Once you can get within about 600 meters, call the spaceport to request landing that should get you an arrow to where you need to go. I've left footage on each spaceport in this section to help you as well, as they're all in different places relatively speaking to their cities. Shout out to the community for this tip. There are multiple ways to heal yourself in this game, but I've got a whole guide that explains all that. Just remember that holding the C key opens your consumables menu, and pressing C uses a med pen to heal yourself. Pressing the B button with a medical tool will allow you to heal yourself with that as well. Stay healthy, friends. Be wary around elevators. At least in the first half of 2022, these beasts have been known to slay players without warning, or even push them into space where they're subject to the whims of Star Citizen in its most raw form. This actually brings up a good point though. Also always wear a helmet unless you're eating. That will save you a lot if you accidentally glitch into space on that rare occasion. But just make sure not to jump into elevators until they've fully rendered in, and try not to stand right next to the door. The personal inner thought system is kinda underutilized in the current game. It's a quick action wheel that allows you to do most personal actions in the game at the press of a button. It can be accessed by holding F and right clicking, and it can be used to save favorite actions, emotes, and other things. I keep one for equipping and unequipping my helmet, and for sleeping. Use this menu to figure out controls too. At any point, pulling this menu up will allow you to access contextual controls and even rebind keys if you need to. One of the best early missions a combat-focused player can do are the illegal data skimmer missions. As mentioned by a community member on Twitter, these missions spawn regularly around my pick for the starting planet, Microtech, and they can earn you quite a bit of money while you only need to shoot stationary targets and avoid some pirates. Just make sure to scan all around and find the data skimmers before you start shooting. Once you do, the pirates will start showing up. This is one of the fastest ways to currently make money for newcomers, and you can share it with a friend if you need to using the contract manager. Remember how I said you should call air traffic control to see where to land? You should also contact them to leave. When you want to leave a hangar, you have to call up to request permission, but this is only in cities and space stations, so don't worry about outposts. It might be weird that there's no minimap in this game just yet, but it doesn't mean that you are lost. Sometimes they don't feel correctly placed, but if you look around at the signs and labels on the walls, you'll be able to get where you need. They do make logical sense, and if you know the name of your destination, they should take you there. Sometimes when trying to find a new location to quantum jump to, you can't get the interface to work with you. It's good practice to hit F2 to enter the star map, and clear your route just to make sure that the computer isn't trying to force you on a different path. Speaking of the star map, it's currently the most painful part of the game, so all I can say on that is, good luck. No really, try to press the B button and use your heads up quantum interface rather than the map, but when you do need to use it, double right click to zoom out, and try not to zoom too far in. Other than that, we can only hope that the actual star map is released sometime in the next year. Seriously, if you're just here to play a cool game, don't spend your real money on the ships. Buy the in-game ships with in-game currency that you can earn in-game. Or rent the ships for even cheaper after you make your first 50k. I'm not trying to tell people how to spend their money, I'm just saying you don't have to spend money if you don't want to. But if you do want to see this game continue to be built and help fund its development, then buying ships is a great way to do that, as there is no publisher funding the game, just a couple of investors and the people buying ships. Sometimes the game is going to have some problems. You might get kicked out of a server or the whole server could die. This can lead to a multitude of problems launching back in. 
If you can't seem to load in, Alt F4 out, log out of the launcher, and start the whole process over. There's a good chance this will save you. If not, then you might need a character reset. When all else fails in game and you don't mind losing your inventory, hold the backspace button to end yourself and spawn back wherever your last regeneration point was. I hope you saved it somewhere close to the things you want to do though. So this can be seen as a tip or even just a way of life. Take it as you will. But this is number 20. I make regular content for Star Citizen to try and help newcomers play the game and players in general better keep up with the development of the game. I also make content for other space games sometimes and I have a second YouTube channel for more casual stuff. If you still can't get enough tomatoes in your life, a caprese salad will work wonders for you. But also you can come check out my live streams every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday to chat about the game, ask questions, and see what's new. And if you need more help getting started with the game, make sure to check out my tutorials playlist linked below that I'm always adding my latest help videos to. If you'd like to get more involved in my content and you've never played the game before, I also have a newcomer series that I like to bring new players on and show them the ropes while everybody else gets to watch. If you feel comfortable hopping on a stream, please hit me up on Discord on my server, which you can find in the video description down below. And finally, if you'd like to support this channel and the content I make elsewhere, you can become a YouTube channel member or a Patreon member and receive an exclusive video every month as well as other benefits. Whatever you do choose, I appreciate you watching the video until this point. I hope you learned something in this one, and I'll catch you in the next.